So in a recent favorites video, I actually included the Maybelline 24 Hour Eye Studio Tattoo Color by this is the longest name ever. Color Tattoo by Eye Studio 24 Hour Eyeshadow. Wow. But um, I included this and a lot of you guys asked for a review or a demo tutorial and that's what I'm doing. I actually have the tutorial that I'll be showing later on in this video what I'm wearing featuring this. This is the shade in Tough as Taupe. So you guys know I'm obsessed with cool tones for this time of year. And basically what this is is just a taupe which is like a brownie grayish base purple. So basically what these are, these are cream eyeshadows that claim to last 24 hours. First off, I'm just going to say, if your makeup needs to last 24 hours... You sound like a hooker to me. I don't think that's a good idea. I basically need my eyeshadow to last as long as I'm awake in the day and I'm not really awake 24 hours. And if I'm awake 24 hours, I'm pulling all nighter and I'm not wearing like a, a taupey smoky eye. I bought mine at CVS and I'm pretty sure they have them at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, any places you can get Maybelline. Or <coughs> and, oh, wow, I'm just tired a little bit. So MAC paint pots look pretty much... Pretty, pretty similar. MAC Paint Pots are 0.17 ounces, whereas Maybelline Eye Studios are 0.14 ounces. So obviously difference, but price-wise, I think this cost me like, probably like 5 to $8, and this costs you $16.50. Basically, the color selection this is pretty good. I've seen quite a few colors, but sadly, the only one I have is this. I want to pick up a ton more, but I'm going to just swatch in comparison the opacity um, and the just basically everything about a paint pot versus the Maybelline 24 hour tattoo eyeliner. The name is just too hard for me to understand. So basically here is the difference. You might not be able to tell that much on camera, but there is the, oh, there's still stuff on my fingers. There is the Paint Pot Hyperviolet by MAC Paint Pot as opposed to Tough as Taupe. As you can see, this is a little far more sheer. Just with one swipe, the Maybelline Eye Studio ones last so freaking long and they're so 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 opaque which is what I love about them and they don't crease at all right so unlike that pink pot these are basically marketed as eyeshadows and that's something you can legitimately wear it as you can wear it as a straight on eyeshadow without having to layer anything like that it stays all day all, all, all day it does not crease if you don't set it with anything it still won't even crease you have a completely opaque color it is so creamy and so blendable I'm just going to say it, I like it a lot, a lot, a lot more than MAC Paint Pots, regardless of the price. If this is more expensive than a MAC Paint Pot, I would still like this more. It's way creamier, the texture's way, way, way nicer, and sometimes for me, I find that Paint Pots can add, like, when you swatch them on your hand, I mean, when you swatch it with your finger, it looks great, and you apply it to your lid, and sometimes they just glide off and slide off. I love MAC Paint Pots, don't get me wrong, cream bases are some of my favorite things, but if you're going to definitely go out and get some, I would recommend the Maybellines. I can guarantee you I'll be buying more of these before I ever spend more on Paint Pots, just because this is amazing. The only really negative thing I have to say is the color selection. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the color selection of the tattoo. Eyeshadows, as you guys know, obviously I'm way more into neutrals and the fact that they have so many like greens and blues and yellows. It's awesome if you want to explore with color, but for me I'd like to have a little more neutrals. Whereas MAC, their selection of paint pots is not that vast, but because they have so many with new collections, I always feel like there's fresh new ones. And for this, I'm really hoping they come out with more shades because I really, really, really love them. So let's get on to the demo of me doing my makeup featuring this. I just want to give a little quick disclaimer. This isn't really a tutorial or any sort of like new makeup look or anything very dramatic. It's basically just how I like to wear this, so if you guys are going to say that, hey, all your makeup tutorials look the same, this is basically what I wear on a daily basis if I decide to wear this eyeshadow. So it is going to be very neutral and something you have seen a lot of before because I tend to stick in the same realm of eyeshadows. I'll definitely be doing more like tutorial tutorials where I go out of my comfort zone, try different things, but because this is more of a demo and featuring how to wear it in a very neutral way and an every single day way, and basically just how I've been wearing it, it is going to look very neutral, very similar to all my other tutorials. So if you want to see how I did this tutorial, Keep on watching. So when I look into your eyes like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise There's so much to hold Just like them old stars I see 
that you've come so far to be right where you are. How old is your soul? See, I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. Giving you all my love, still looking at her. And when you're needing your space to do some navigating, I'll be here patiently waiting. So that is the demo and the review of the Maybelline 24 hour eye studio eyeshadow in tough as taupe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any other products from the drugstore that you're like, hey Megan, I'd like you to go out and spend your hard earned money on that and try it out so we can all figure out what it's about because that's what I did with this. A lot of you requested for me to go out and get this and I was like, snap, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan. So kudos to you guys for telling me to buy something that I personally love.